Mm, doesn't it feel good to get away? Oh, it feels so good. The sun on my face, relaxation. Mm. Cheers. Cheers to you, my friend. Peaceful, quiet. Did I ever tell you the story about when I was a kid and I went yeah. to that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or the time Brandon and I were on vacation? Yep. The Heard that one, too. Oh. Listen, I know. Let's play that game where see who's quiet the longest. <laughs> Are you trying to send me a sign? <laughs> We're just trying to relax here. Oh, you're so blunt. What time is it, by the way? I don't know. I didn't wear my watch. It's one. Right now? It's one as in like 1 p.m. We gotta go. Like we, we have gotta a show, show to do. We gotta Wait, show. But where are we, we gotta doing? go. No, Hold on. No, where are we no, doing the show? This way. This way. How do you know? Houston Live starts now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this very special edition of Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. What a beautiful bird's eye view. We are coming to you from the South Shore Harbor Marina in League City, and we're sending all the weathermen our checks today because the weather is absolutely perfect it's here. It's beautiful. It's a little bright. That's why we have our sunglasses with us today. There's a bit of a cloud cover right now, but it feels so good. And coming up on today's show, we have hit the road for a long weekend, and we're exploring all League City has to offer, including taking advantage of being on this beautiful water. Did you know you can learn to sail right here on Clear Lake? I got to try it for the very first time, and you'll find out how I did coming up. Something tells me you did very well. Oh. Another option, kayaking. Our Enrique Ramirez is paddling his way along a quiet creek where he's getting up close and personal with the wildlife. All right. Did you find him? Yeah, did you just see? Yeah, I just saw it. Yep. His eye was sticking out. Oh, an eye sticking out. Is that a gator? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can't wait to see what happened. Also, you might know them from their hit show, Out Daughtered. The Busby family lives right here in League City with six daughters. You know, they weren't busy enough, so <laughs> they just opened a kid's store. We're going to check in with Mama Busby to see how the family and the brand new business are doing. Absolutely precious. And on our tour through League City, we made an unexpected discovery. Public buildings being spray painted. Mel Camp caught up with the artist, and we're going to check in with her a little bit later on. Very, very nice. There is so much history here in League City. God, I got to tell you, there's something about hitting the water and being sort of like out of the hustle and bustle in the city, you immediately relax. The blood pressure lowers a little bit, and that's what we needed. We needed a staycation. Check out this gorgeous setting. Of course, behind us, we're exploring a hidden gem just about 30 minutes from Houston. Yeah, it's hard to believe it is so close, and we've been hanging out the, at the South Shore Harbor Resort. We relaxed poolside, as you saw. I'm glad we, we made it in time for I'm the glad show. We made it a quick wardrobe change. We also <laughs> checked out the spa and had lunch from Kevin Kirsch at Red River Cantina. Thank you so much for providing lunch for our entire crew. We've got a lot of hungry people here behind the scenes. We even played a little bit of tennis. I'm a bit rusty. I'm I'm a bit rusty too. Okay, I'm glad you're the one who said that. No, you were great. You were great. <laughs> we're going to have more on that a little bit later. You played tennis in college. I did. And listen, it was super fun to get back on the court. The ladies uh, let us join in their, uh, their little workout this morning. So it was fantastic. You know, earlier today, the resort managers did give us a tour of the penthouse suites. Y'all, seriously, you have to check this out. Come enjoy the water, enjoy the view. The view is free. Wow. And see, it is so beautiful. I've actually stayed so here pretty. at the hotel. I've never stayed in the penthouse. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> the views really are unbeatable. Two-story suite. So that staircase, yes, that is all within the same Love suite. Two-story windows, that beautiful view, gorgeous chandelier, that staircase. I mean, imagine you could have your moment with a glass of champagne and Listen, views of the boats on the water. You know how bougie my kids are. They are going to freak out when they see all of this. You know, the set here on the water, the two-story penthouse. I mean, 
it is top notch from start to finish as soon as you get out of your car. You know, sometimes too, when you go on a vacation, the travel, the hassle, yes. the long road trip, or heaven forbid you flying through an airport, right? Mm -hmm. And by the time you get on your vacation, you need a vacation from your vacation. Down here, if you're a city person like we are in Houston, right? Yeah. You can make your way down here. It is a breeze down 45. You'll be here before you know it. Absolutely. And you're going to exhale as soon as you get here. We're actually spending two days here in League City. We're also helping League City celebrate. Listen to this. Their 60 year anniversary. Doesn't she look fabulous? We're going to be hosting their diamond ball at the South Shore Harbor Resort. And we are so excited to be doing that. There is so much party prep underway to get ready for the ball. We popped in to see how the event setup is going along with a lot of nice people working hard behind the scenes to prepare for a magical evening. Listen, it takes a village, right? And that's exactly what's happening. There's the mayor's wife there. Uh, I had my own prep to do. I picked out my dress for the uh, at Dress Galaxy. Oh, hard work. I mean, it was a lot of work. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. I think it is so, so nice. We're doing the early reveal. You know, I love anything feathers and Dress Galaxy. I have to tell you, Ruby and her husband have been in business for a long time. Um, and let's look at this. You can't have a diamond ball without diamonds. So, oh, of yeah. course, Diamonds Direct is letting me borrow this stunning set. There's necklace, bracelet, earrings. Just for the night, though, I got to give them back just like Cinderella. Several carrots there. Oh, I already feel underdressed. You will be beautiful. <laughs> We're going to find Find some bling for you, I promise. All that ice. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get iced out. <laughs> yeah. That's what the diamond ice ball is all about, right? Well, all of this fanfare, of course, is to celebrate 60 years of history and growth here in League City. Yeah, and just recently, a bit of that history was unearthed during a renovation at the League City Community Center. This is such an incredible story. So while installing new floors on the stage, a contractor discovered something hidden under some of the old floorboards. It was a purse that had been lost more than 60 years ago and inside priceless memories for a local family. So I opened it and I seen all the pictures. I wanted to turn it in first thing. So like I seen that, I'm like, oh, memories, somebody's memories. So they need to have this. They let us know that two days after her 77th birthday would have been that they let us know that they found it. It's just a perfect time capsule of someone that it never occurred to me was a, a real person. By the time I came along, she was well into mom mode. And so I'm looking at this stuff going, well, she did have thoughts and feelings right. and, <laughs> and dances she wanted to go to and, and people she knew. And, you know, what of your own junior high do your kids know? Oh my gosh, I'm getting the chills listening to this. Certainly it makes you want to learn more about the people and the history of this town. Yeah, there are so many connections to Texas history here in League City. We wanted to take a closer look. So joining us now, we have Katie Benoit and Mike Peterson with the League City Historical Society. Welcome. And that story uh, we just saw, how incredible to have a piece of history from 60 years ago unearthed, but that barely scratches the surface. Even though League City, we've talked about, you know, celebrating the 60th anniversary. People were settling in Le League City long before that time. That's correct. That's correct. All the way back into the late 1800s. So I know you had mentioned, first off, welcome to everybody being here. Thank you for coming to League we're City. We're glad to be yeah, here. It's a oh, great yeah. Friday. Beautiful. A beautiful place. We've got a lot happening in League City and tonight's going to be a spectacular event. So again, thank you for being here. And concerning the purse, I'd love to have Katie talk a little bit about that because she works so close with the family in the League City historical society to bring all that together. It's really incredible, Katie, this story. I mean, literally, I was getting the cheers listening, chills listening to that. Isn't it fun? I think we met with the family and they came over to the museum where we have all the items preserved. The, the neat part about it is when the sisters talk about it, they're like, how many people get the opportunity yeah. to see their mom's um, purse and what they were like when they were teenagers. Right, everything in there. Yeah, all the pictures, she had a diary in there. Um, it was just amazing to watch um, them look through things and they said we are so lucky to be able to look at our mom back when she was a teenager and to get that glimpse into history. But they also say this could have been anybody's purse. Sure. So they want to share and they want everyone to come and see what was in the purse and, and the, the stories, the family stories. And you wonder how it got there too, right? You wonder how it 
was uh, underneath all that dirt all those years. Let's talk a little bit more about how uh, Lee City came to be. So in 1854, there were cattle ranchers who came over from Louisiana, mm -hmm. and I understand the Butler family, they were a big deal because they played a critical role in actually saving the long Longhorn population. They sure did, yeah. yeah. It was the Butler family and also J.C. League family. Um, very, very important for our area, and there's another family, which there's many, many that we can talk about, is also J.C. or T.J. Dick. T.J. Dick is the gentleman that actually built the Galveston Seawall. So those three gentlemen had so much to do with the development of Leak City. So going back to the Butlers, you're correct. Uh, here in Leak City, we have just an absolutely beautiful venue that's called Butler's Courtyard, and it's in the original building that Mr. Butler built. And what's so unique about that building is it's the first brick building ever built in Leak City, Texas in 1909. Wow. So it was a two-story building. The mortar and the brick started to fail, so they had to bring it down to a one-story building. And now Butler's Courtyard is running a beautiful venue out of it. But yeah, he had so much to do with saving the Longhorns for all of us here. It's really incredible to, you know, hear the names and put that to the, the history. Um, getting back to TJ Dick, um, as you were saying, he was tasked with sourcing all that stone for the Galveston Seawall and built his home here in League City in 1904. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, so uh, everybody always wondered, you know, and again, I actually own the home now there, TJ Dick, and my wife and I restored it, and we have a venue out of it. And everybody always asked me, where did the granite come from? Yeah. And I always chuckle about it, and I thought maybe he just pushed it off a train because back then you didn't have cars everybody would just you know take the train to get down to Galveston but the reason why he was honored with that granite not only the front steps but also the big piers below the 1904 home is because he finished the roads and the bridges all early ahead of schedule so Galveston County actually gave him the stones for him to build his house and what's so unique about some of those older homes Katie also has one of the older homes in Lake City is to where a lot a lot of the wood was built from the Galveston storm of the 1900s. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. Where they actually brought it right up Clear Lake to Clear Creek and they docked it at the end of Kansas. And that's where everybody would go get the wood to actually build their homes in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Yeah. That is fascinating. Early repurposing of, yeah. of the lumber. Um, we have about a minute left. Can we chat a little bit about Butler's Courtyard? Because in 1909, this was officially the first bank in Lake City. Is that right? It was kind of the Galleria of League City. Wow. It had the bank, it had the post office, the doctor's office, um, and any kind of insurance. Um, it, it, you know, the bank was really important to for a community, and this was the center of town. So, and it was built with bricks that were actually made right on the creek here down by the old part of town. So definitely the center of town. And the bank vault is still in place. Mm -hmm. So if you have a chance to come by, you know, Amber and Shauna Richards now run the business mm -hmm. and they're doing an incredible job. But to be able to go in there and see that original vault, it's mm -hmm. still in place. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. It's like a scene from a movie, it but is, it is it real is. life. <laughs> um, just a little bit more about League City because we have about 20 seconds left. Uh, originally, the town was called Clear Creek mm -hmm. in the late 1890s. And when did it finally get its name, League City? When J.C. League decided to develop. He had the property. He set up the grid system system. He made sure that there was a park, that there was a school, that there was a church, everything a community needed. And he set it up. And the oak trees are an important thing he brought to the city. We used to be coastal prairie here, no trees. So J.C. League not only founded the center of town and the setup, but he made sure that we were the city of oaks. It's so great. Mm -hmm. And you know, you just need somebody with a vision to make yep. it happen. If you build it, they'll come. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're going to hear more about some of these very special oak trees a little later on. Katie and Mike, thank you so much. Okay. League City yeah. Historical Society. Thank so you. much rich history, mm -hmm. and hopefully our viewers will come down and enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Appreciate it. Y'all enjoy yourselves. You too. And listen, uh, there is more history that we, you can see more by checking out the League City Historical Society um, to learn more. Yeah, it is beautiful. And the main street, so many beautiful old buildings. Too. I love all these stories. Okay, still to come, unexpected finds and unexpected places. We're getting the story behind some art popping up all over League City. And next, a look at how the city turned dying trees into intricate carvings. Also, Mel Camp is with an artist who uses spray paint to bring color and smiles to everyone in town. Hey, Mel. Hey, guys. Yes, there are beautiful murals all over League City, and most of them are painted by this guy, Adam Sosi. We are going to do some painting with you, Adam. Yep. Yeah, OK, we're going to paint with Adam and find out more. That's coming up on Houston Life. Don't go away. <laughs>
the like UP umbrella over it. Welcome back to Houston Life, this very special edition. I think maybe we should call it League City Life for the uh, day. How, do, how does that sound? I think it sounds great. We are spending the day just a short drive from Houston here in League City. There's so much to do and see, and a short trip around town really proves that. Yeah, and the city really has taken great care to put in all kinds of free community art, like the city's tree carvings. Get this, two 100-year-old trees at League Park needed to be removed because they were diseased and dying. So what? What do you think they did? Well, the city didn't waste those trees. They asked artist James D. Phillips to carve them into sculptures, enough wood to make multiple sculptures. And you can see these on your screen. One is at Helen Hall Library, the, the boy and the dog reading there. One is at Hometown Heroes Park. That's the firefighter rescuing the puppy. And one at the League Train, which is the train conductor holding a lantern uh, or a pocket watch. So absolutely beautiful ways to use these pieces of history. It really is and it, it sort of stops you in your tracks when you see them. I don't know if you've had a chance to I see have. them up close and personal, and it's really remarkable. And when you hear the story behind it, because if you're just walking by, you think, oh, cool, carving. But when you hear the story behind it, it makes it that much more special, and they're so beautifully realistic they are beautiful. when you're walking there and intricate. The artwork doesn't stop there. You're going to find murals on traffic boxes. That's one of my favorite things to see around town and public buildings. Well, and the artwork is so impressive. You might not get it is all done with spray paint. Mel Camp tracked down the artist behind the murals. Mel? Oh, guys, isn't this the most beautiful mural? And this is the man behind it. Adam Sosi, you've done so many murals around League City. Yeah, I've done, I've done quite a few. So, yeah. yeah. I love it because you have a real success story. I mean, to get a mural like this, we're talking 30 years of practice. And um, you started doing a lot of art that people didn't want growing up as a kid in the 80s in Pasadena. Oh, yeah. You, um, you do a lot of bad stuff on the way to doing good stuff. I mean, everything comes with practice. And yeah. without the practice, you, you're not going to get anywhere. I have no natural talent, so uh, it was just repetition. So I, I don't know. I think I disagree. That's, no, 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 that's this, a talent. This is a skill, not a talent. I really? can teach somebody else to do this. Well, there so. you go, kids. You can do anything. But no, seriously, you do amazing work. And you've been doing murals all over the world. Yeah. And you're based here in League City. Yeah, yeah. I get to travel a lot. I get to paint with the people that I look up to. So that's it's a bonus, you know. Not many people get to do that. So that's so true. That's so true. I think we should see you. You ready to see Adam in action? Um, you're gonna just paint some bubbles. Yeah, I'm just gonna add some little air bubbles to this. Uh, real simple technique. Wait, I don't want to. Wait, not on me. Don't spray me. Hang on, wait a second. <laughs> I'm gonna stand in the right spot. Okay. So ready? talk us through this. So um, it's just separating the the lights and the darks, basically. So. Bubbles pretty much pretty much look like that. This and is then, amazing. You're using like four cans of paint. Yeah. So it, does, it doesn't really take much to to get the effect. Yeah. As long as uh, everything's in the in the right spot. That is and some the, magic. This is the man in action. If you're in League City and you see Adam's work, like you just saw it happen live on Houston Life. That was so cool. Oh, thank you. That was so, so awesome. It's, it's the little things that make the difference. Yeah, so. right. When are you finished with a mural? Because you did this like you're, a... You're not. You just decide to walk away from it at some point, you know? So you were so. happy when we said, can you come and do some painting for us? Yeah, our... yeah. You can, always, you can always add a little bit more, a little more depth, a little bit, you know. Usually I'm... I, by the time I'm happy with the clients, extremely happy, so yeah. I don't really have to worry about them so much. Most of my murals are, uh, they just give me a theme and a budget and just let me go, and half the time they don't even have a rendering, so they don't, they don't even know what it looks like till it's done. So. How did this one come about? Where was the inspiration? Uh, uh, Up Arch Studios, I do a lot of work with them. They do the mini mural project around, around town. You see a lot in Houston. I've yeah. done a lot of work with them. Well, we are going to post your like socials on HoustonLife.tv so you can follow this man because now you've seen him live in action. Guys, how awesome was that? It was so, so cool. Just so much art in League City, Derek and Courtney.
It is beautiful, Mel, and it's true. I would never guess it's done with a, a spray paint can. So well done, Mel. We'll see you in just a bit. When we come back, did you know League City is home to one of our favorite reality show families? It's true. You might recognize the Busbies from their hit show, Out Daughtered. With six daughters, they weren't busy enough, so they just opened a kid's store, and we're taking you inside. And next, a, a little friendly competition. You know, Derek couldn't win at pickleball. Remember hey that? <laughs> so he challenged me to tennis see how that went when Houston life returns oh man I wasn't too. Welcome back to Houston Life. We are out here relaxing, enjoying the views and the breeze at South Shore Harbor Resorts in League City. But we couldn't lay around all day. We decided to <laughs> squeeze in a little time on the tennis courts for some exercise. Okay, and here's the thing. Our viewers probably know this. <laughs> Courtney, you played tennis in college. I did. Uh, and today you first played with the pros. We met a very nice group of ladies who make this their regular thing. Yeah, you know what? They, they let us join in on their practice. One of them's name's Courtney, too, so, you know, natural partner there. Oh, yeah. uh, then we paired up for a little doubles. Derek either had a hole in his racket or, I don't know, League City Sun maybe got in your eyes. I don't know what video you're watching, but I, I, I'm hitting the ball. <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun to get on the court. I haven't played in a long time, um, but it feels good. Well, also, the fitness center and spa here, I had actually never been inside here. We spent a lot of time down here on Clear Lake because some of our dear friends live here, but that fitness center and spa, it's Gorgeous. huge. There's facial space specials, all kinds of things. I was like, wait a minute, don't we have more time? We don't. Okay. We don't. Well, hey, speaking <laughs> of nice things and winning, it is prize wheel time. In case you are new to the drill, every single week we give away prizes like gift cards, even $1,000. Sign up for your chance to uh, to be uh, to spin the wheel by visiting HoustonLife.tv, or you can scan that QR code that's currently on your screen. And thank you to our team behind the scenes who hauled this prize wheel all the way down from our station. <laughs> Today we are spinning for Eugene Harris from Katy. Get this, he's 56 years old, been married for 34 years. His nickname is Buddy. Buddy. And huge congratulations are in order because come January, he will be a grandpa for the oh. very first time. Time. So, so Eugene, sweet. thank you so much for being an insider. We're excited to spin the wheel for you today. We are. All right, buddy. I hope you have your eye on something good on that prize wheel because there's lots to choose from. Derek, you going to give her a spin? Yeah, including, guess what? A stay right here at the South Shore Harbor Resort and Spa. That's a nice prize. Let's see where the wheel lands today. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, that's a good one, too. You oh, have won tickets to the favorite. Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market Preview Party. This is a fantastic event. Courtney, you can tell them all about it. Listen, the preview party, it's less crowded. It's a party. There's cocktail. There's food. It's the place everybody wants to be before the Nutcracker Market actually opens to the public. And you'll get to meet Miss Courtney Zavala, the one and only <laughs> Eugene Herod. Congratulations. <laughs> and if you would like your chance to spin and win on the show, register right now by visiting clicktohouston.com slash insider. Once again, it is totally free. And, uh, buddy, our producers will be in touch with you shortly. Congratulations. Still ahead this beautiful lake behind us is more than just a great view it's the perfect place to set sail you know i just had to give it a try could i learn to sail in just one morning i don't know stick around to find out we'll be right back Well, welcome back to Houston Life. We are coming to you from the South Shore Harbor Marina in League City. I'm Courtney Savala along with Derek Shore. It is such a bright, beautiful, breezy day down here. So can we chat about the water? It truly Gorgeous. is magical when you're next to the water. There's something about uh, your stress that just melts away. Listen, the, br the blood pressure decreases it just does. a little bit, right? We've been sitting here on the dock of the Freedom Boat Club, and this is such a cool concept. All of these boats here along the pier belong to the Freedom Boat Club. How it works is you pay for a membership, you get unlimited training with certified captains, you show up and take off any available boat. You can go cruising, water skiing, fishing, tubing. You pick the boat 
basically that fits the needs of your trip. It is super, super cool. And this is just one of the ways you can get out and enjoy the water here in League City. All right, Derek, you got to try something really cool right here on Clear Lake. OK, yeah, so I've been on a boat, you know, quite quite a bit, right? But I had never been sailing, always very curious about how it all works. It is a favorite of both locals and visitors. So I asked around and found the perfect guide to show me the ropes. For Scott Tuma, a day like today in League City is too nice to stay on land. All aboard? Yes, sir. And lucky for me, I get to go along for the ride. You know, this is my first time sailing, Scott. Okay. I well, mean, good. I've been on a boat before, but I've never sailed. Anything I need to know? Main thing is watch out for the boom. So this piece is boom. They call it that for a reason. It hurts when he gets hit. <laughs> Scott has been sailing for most of his life. How long have you been sailing? I think 43 years. So you were two when you started? Close, five. <laughs> and just a few minutes into our excursion, and he was already showing me the ropes. Go ahead, grab the tiller. So the grab, the grab this. Yeah. So you kind of you'll look at something there. You kind of you kind of go back and forth about a foot either direction, kind of see how it responds. If I push to the right, it goes to the left. Correct. And if I pull to the left, it goes to the right. Yep. So we're going to stay close to this, these you know, bulkhead piers over on this side. Once we got far enough from shore, it was time to kill the engine and officially start sailing. The mm -hmm. sound of the wind and the mm -hmm. sail and the water is uh, it's mesmerizing. It, yeah. It's almost like I want to just take a nap. Yeah. You know? So growing up, my dad worked for Boeing and Space Station, so I now realize why he got in the water to get away from everything. Yeah. You know, you get the peace and quiet, you go through, and as a kid, we would uh, do a sailboat race to Mexico and such, and he would not allow any music, nothing. Just the sound of the yep. water and the wind. Yeah. <laughs> I can see how it gets in your blood. Yeah. It's also incredible to me that I woke up in the city this mm -hmm. morning, yeah. and just a short drive to League City, we're yeah. out here on the water, it feels like we're in another world. Yeah, it is. And now, sailing is something Scott enjoys with his own family, winning awards and spending quality time together on the water. You know, the closer you get down to the water, the more laid back the, the life is. Everybody just throttles back and just relaxed. Call it beginner's luck, but I was really digging the sailing thing. It really is cool to feel how responsive. I mean, with the wind kicking up now, I can feel the boat kind of leaning mm -hmm. to our left. But also for us to stay on course, it, it means I need to move. Yeah. A it's a, uh, I call it a, a 3D chess game with Mother Nature. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, especially actually... if we're racing. So if we're trying to get to, hey, let's say, a mark or buoy that's up, up there, up into the wind, as you, as you said, you felt the wind moving back and forth. Yeah, so you're constantly adapting to the changing yes, conditions. Yes, exactly. There's uh, some people, definitely there are people that have a natural talent. If only we brought a drink to help kick off the weekend. You know, Friday afternoon, you grab a cooler, go through and enjoy sunset. What do you put in the cooler? Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> your, your favorite cocktail of choice. <laughs> Scott, this was really great. It was like the perfect way to start the day. Hey, not a problem. Glad you came out. Glad you all enjoyed it. And you did, did wonderful. How'd I do? About a nine. A nine? Yeah. A I nine out of a hundred? It was just the escape I needed from this. Good. Day. to do it again. Wow. I mean, you went on a perfect morning. Yeah, and it was so quiet without the engines. It, it truly was magical. So, Scott, thank you very much. It was a great trip. And it turns out, by the way, in case you are wondering, there are several places where you can learn to sail. We have posted a link to them under the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. All right. If sailing isn't your thing or not in your budget, no problem. Yeah, you can kayak, canoe, or paddleboard here as well. Clear Creek Paddle trail is perfect for a leisurely trip and the scenery isn't lacking either between the wildlife and the water you're going to feel like you've been transported we sent enrique ramirez to check it all out right now we're at the dock at walter hall park rick riviera is the kayak man here in league city right here is one of the public launch sites and not only for boats but also for kayaks canoes and today rick is going to give me a crash course in kayaking 
do some kayaking. Then a tour around Clear Creek Paddle Trail. Okay, Rick, we're getting ready to go in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me how we're gonna get set up. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get everything set up, make it easy for you to get into the kayak. And right here we got a sit-in style and a sit-on top single kayaks. Got your life jacket, we've got the bilge pump. I don't expect you need it, but in case you get enough water in there. And we're gonna head out this direction over here. Maybe. All right. All right. Sounds exciting. And we're off. Not only is this a great way to exercise, it's also a great way to enjoy the outdoors. There are miles of creek to explore, and you never know what you might see. You've got a ton of wildlife out here. Uh, egrets, herons, tricolored herons. You've got, there are alligators in the water. Certain times of year, you have pelicans out here. Start with that. <laughs> I might have started off the day a little bumpy, and I need to bump up on my but after a few minutes, it was smooth sailing or kayaking. I'm getting the hang of it. It's fun. A lot of fish jumping out here, too. Hopefully, I'll catch a fish jumping for us. A few moments later, I caught something all right, but it wasn't a fish. So, Rick and I just had an interesting run in with possibly something that was poking its head out of the water right in front of us there. Rick, what do you think it was? Uh, a possible alligator. I didn't get a good enough look at it, but it was brown and had bumps on it and went back down under the water. So it was either uh, a very large turtle <laughs> or, or an alligator sticking his head out of the water. One of the two. Rick is actually going to go closer. Did you find him? Yeah, did you just see? Yeah, I just saw it. Yep. His eye was sticking out. Gator? So go back this way now but yeah they don't bother you as long as you don't bother them but we don't want to get don't want to get too close uh, but yeah they're they're out throughout the creek I've had some renters bring back some pictures of some very large alligators out there uh, they usually hang towards the side just like what we saw over there they're gonna be towards the banks where it's uh, where it's lower and um, a little excitement for the day that's awesome awesome but a little too close for comfort time to move on the official Clear Creek Paddle Trail is six miles long, but the creek stretches for several miles inland and is accessible when water levels are high. You could go all the way out to Kima from here if you wanted to. Whew, we did it, Rick. We did it. Excellent. How'd you like it? I loved it. I have to definitely come back out here when I have more time and just do the whole uh, trail. So we'll, we'll see if we can't get a full shot of an alligator that yeah. time, okay? We'll, see. We'll, <laughs> we'll wait and see about that. I mean, an alligator you know, sighting or two. Hey, I don't know, no biggie, right? I mean, I feel like that was their tip for taking the kayak trip, right? It's not a trip on, on the water unless you see one here in the south, yeah, right? It is so true. It's gorgeous, too. It's so cool to see. of the wildlife. Well, you could bring your own kayak or canoe or even rent one. Enrique went out with Rick Rivera from Clear Creek Kayaks. Uh, and so a great guide. He was very calm. They both were yeah. that, even during, during that alligator sighting. To connect with them, head to the scene on section of HoustonLife.tv. Man, everybody's to-do list is going to be full by the end of this and show. And you know, kayaking. It's actually been a while since I've been kayaking. You've it's been so right. So fun, yes. Talk about peaceful. You and are out there with nature. It's a tough workout, but so relaxing at the same time. It's, we gotta take a little kayaking trip ourselves. I think we should. Actually, we're gonna do a trip. We are. We hear one of the coolest bars in League City is right here in the resort. Coming up, we're checking out the Opus Bar and trying some drinks approved by the one and only. Kenny Chesney. And we are meeting up with one of the stars of Out Daughtered, the Busby family. They actually live right here in League City. We're going to take a look at their busy life here in League City when Houston Life returns after this. Welcome back to this very special edition of Houston Life. We first got to know the Busby family on the popular reality show Out Daughters. It is so cool. Follows the parents, Danielle and Adam Busby, as they navigate life with six young daughters. That's right. I said six right here in League City. Adorable young daughters, by the way. The family is also behind a new kids boutique. Mel Camp caught up with Mama Busby about how she manages it all. Here in League City, there is a super cute boutique, and you may know a little something of the story behind it. Grayson B Boutique is a Busby family local boutique here in League City, Texas. We offer um, everything from women 
all the way down to babies. Um, we have a lot of mom and me, dad and me. We have a little bit of home and gifts, shoes, accessories, jewelry, and um, yeah. Yep. This is Danielle Fusby, mama on the reality TV show Outdoored and the family's YouTube channel, It's a Buzz World. The Buzzbees got worldwide attention in 2015 when they had the first set of all-female quintuplets in the United States. Danielle is also the mama behind Grace and B. Grace and B, the name. This is what you would have named your son. <laughs> that is correct. So when Adam and I found out we were pregnant with the quintuplets and um, we were like, surely there's gonna be a boy in there. And that was the one name we knew that we were, had planned. And then it's like, there's all five girls. I had the vision of the shop opening and Grayson B just, it came around. I was like, it's gotta be Grayson. And cause that's our boy. This is our little boy. This is my son right here. <laughs> Grayson B. <laughs> While Danielle and Adam Busby are not originally from League City, they have well and truly made this place their home. We uh, love League City. We, Adam and I got married 16 years ago and his job took us here. We built a life here, we built a church family here, community here, and we have never wanted to leave. We love the friendliness around here. We're right by the water but we're close enough to the beach, but also the big city. And so it's just like a perfect dynamic for us. And you have a pretty big family. Like it's, it's kind of a giant family. It's not a normal size, let's just say that. <laughs> what is it like for families living here? I think you'd be a pretty good judge of that. <laughs> we love here. I mean, our kids love um, just the parks around here, just how close we are to Kima, the boardwalk. And another thing we love about League City is definitely like the small town feel, but there's just so much around the bubble of League City. And you know, the schools are really great. We feel um, safe with our kids now, who are all now in public school. We definitely love um, League City. And the shopping is good in League City. The shopping is great. And I love that we've been able to, uh, you know, bring Grace and be here. It's a mom and kids shop. And so it's a little bit different than what the other boutiques are around here. But, you know, all, everybody has their own specialty and their own like uniqueness inside. And so it's fun. So go boutique hop <laughs> here in League City. <laughs> Do you want to see behind the scenes? Okay. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're just <laughs> following you. <laughs> so back here is our warehouse. This is where we do we store stuff and we do all of our online packing and Wait, shipping. Wait, so this is like literally behind the scenes. Literally behind the scenes. This is Buzz Beast Live. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we spend a lot of time back here. You can check out Grace and Bee Boutique for yourself at 3020 Marina Bay Drive in where else but League City. And keep up to date with the Buzzbees on their YouTube channel, It's a Buzz World. My goodness, they are busy, busy people. I want to know how many cups of coffee Danielle drinks every day. <laughs> By the way, we are posting all their information on our website. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section of HoustonLife.tv. I got to add Grace and B to the shopping oh, list. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get a little thirsty. Didn't we mention drinks at some point during uh, the show? Well, yeah, and I think it's about that time. We're going to make our short walk over to the Opus Bar to try out some tropical Kenny Chesney-inspired cocktails when Houston Life returns right after this. Don't go away. Welcome back to Houston Life. We've moved inside the South Shore Harbor Resort to the bar at Opus Bistro and Steakhouse overlooking the marina on Clear Lake because what would a staycation be without a good cocktail? Well, yeah, leave it to us to always find the <laughs> bar, right? So we're adding a bit of Caribbean flair to our trip with a few tropical cocktails inspired by none other than country music superstar Kenny Chesney. This is something I just learned that Kenny Chesney owns a rum line. Where have I been since? this has been developed. It's called Blue Chair by Bay Rum, and behind the bar is the company's real regional sales manager, Adam Folden. Hey, Hi, Adam. Hey, guys. Good to see you. What do we have in front of us? Oh, we made a little, this is the signature cocktail for tomorrow's event here for the Leak City Gala. And this mm. is made with our delicious coconut rum. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is perfect for the marina, perfect for the water, perfect for blue skies. I mean, this rum is unbelievable. Absolutely. 
absolutely. It's yeah. incredible how just like the coconut flair sort of makes us reminisce about being on vacation. It does have that tropical feeling. Do you find that a lot of people are surprised that Kenny Chesney has his own line of rum? They are, and even the people that know him sometimes don't realize it. And there's a lot of celebrities in the alcohol business these days, but uh, this is his company. He started it, and this is his brainchild, and it's uh, designed all around him, if you know Kenny. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, this is definitely his wheelhouse, and it's not just one rum. I mean, because that would be boring. We need several, and <laughs> yeah. we're taking a look at some yeah. of these bottles here, because it, there's, your, there's your typical rum, but then you guys kick it up a few notches. Yeah, so we're up to 11 different flavors or types now we, we have uh, five clear rums that we do and then we now have six cream rums that we do with our newest being the mocha rum cream Ooh, that just hit that's the streets yummy. in September that looks really good and yeah. what's the motto you were telling us earlier so a lot of times we get asked well what do you mix your rums with and our motto and our tagline is just add ice oh, our rums are so good that wow. you literally don't need anything just else just add ice or but, just serve ice like you were doing this looks yeah. like a milkshake <laughs> Well, it's just oh as good as gosh. a milkshake as well, but a little bit of alcohol in there as well. So, wow. a little coffee, a little, oh, little chocolate. Oh, wow. Little this cream. has holidays written all yeah, over absolutely. it. This is yummy. Yeah. This has 365 24-7. <laughs> so, you mentioned celebrities getting in the booze business, and a lot of celebrities will just, like, slap their name on a label. Kenny Chesney actually fully owns 100% this company, and he's really involved with it. He, he does. He actually worked on it for 13 years before he released it, so he's somewhat of a perfectionist. If he was going to put his name behind it, he wanted to make sure it was done right. So 13 years, he's very involved. He's a great guy to work for. We've got a great culture at the company. Um, but, yeah, we're having a lot of success, but a lot of fun along the way as well. It's so it right. cool. And, listen, this is kind of a full circle moment for you personally and professionally. I know that you're the regional sales manager for Blue Chair Bay, the yeah. rum, um, but you have a little history here with the resort, right? I do, yes ma'am. I actually worked here for about five years as the food and beverage director. I love it here. I'm a local guy. Um, love being by the water and this is just a great resort and a great family and so left to go join this company but we're all still working together now. And yeah. Adam, I think it's great you live down here. For Houstonians who have never made the trek down here, it's interesting because you truly do feel like you're a world away even though the city, downtown Houston, is just a 30 minute drive. Yes. Can you imagine yourself living anywhere else? You know, when I moved back to Houston after college, it was uh, a couple decisions, but I, I chose down here in, uh, near the water. Like you said, it's only 30 minute drive from downtown Houston, but once you hit south of the Beltway, you start hitting the palm trees, and it just really gets a, a nice vibe. Just Adam Folden, thanks so much for introducing us to the line, yeah. making the cocktails. Cheers to you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I know, this is yummy. Yeah. Okay, you can come try these drinks for yourself right here at Opus. We do have a link. Uh, with more information under the scene on section of HoustonLife.tv. Okay, so I can think of one thing we definitely need besides a straw. Yep. How about a boat? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Stay with us because we're going to hit the water coming up next. Cheers. It's so good. Yeah. Welcome back to Houston Life, this very special edition of League City Life from the South Shore Harbor Resort Spa Marina. Courtney, are you relaxed yet? Oh, I'm there. Now we've taken, we've we've ditched our seats and we hit the water. Well, and Captain Ken is the man behind the wheel. We're going to chat with him in just a moment because uh, we couldn't complete the day without a little water time, a little more water time, huh? I mean, it's a perfect day to be out here on the marina and... Uh, I can say this is not a bad day at work. It's not at all. You know, I'm still <laughs> thinking about those rum cocktails. Those were those were good stuff. Okay, so if you watch today's show, get a little closer to the dock here. Uh, bear with us as sometimes bad mics happen to good people. Okay, you hear us now. That's good. That's good. I think we got a little too far from the dock. But today we took you out sailing, we took you kayaking, we have shown you all kinds of things to do. Again, the big 60th anniversary gala is happening tomorrow evening, and we are so excited to host it and help celebrate this beautiful, beautiful city. I know, I'm very excited to wear my gown from Dress Galaxy tomorrow, beautiful emerald green with sequins and feathers, it's fantastic. Let's talk to the man behind the wheel. Okay, Captain Ken, we gotta come over here. So you are the man in charge, Freedom 
Freedom Boat Club. And how does this work? Can Do I have to be a member or can I come down here and rent a boat? Well, we don't rent boats by the day. Our members join for an annual uh, uh, fee and it's like a country club for boaters. So you just come down, you use whatever boat you want. Uh, our guys uh, take care of all the cleaning, the maintenance and uh, all the hard stuff. You just come down here, maximize your time on the water and we make boating simple. That's what we do. Okay, this is genius because you don't have to worry about the upkeep and maintenance of a boat. What's that old saying, Ken, that the best day in a boat owner's life is the day they buy the boat and the day they sell the boat? Well, <laughs> as a club member, the best days are Saturday and Sunday. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, Ken, thank you so much. Uh, it has been a joy being out here. And Courtney Zavala, I don't want our show to end, but I, I think know. we're tied on time. We are. Cheers to this. We loved being out here in League City. And congratulations on their 60th anniversary. Can't wait to celebrate. Yeah, and as always, you know the drill. You can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, for more information and to connect with the people we feature today. We'll see you next time.